In the long history of lunar exploration, one detail has remained untouched for over half a century. Every spacecraft that has ever touched the moon has had legs. From the Soviet Luna 9 in 1966 to the Apollo landers and even the recent Odysseus mission, all of them relied on a set of metal supports to stay upright on that dusty, uncertain surface. But SpaceX, never known for following tradition, once proposed something no one had ever dared to try landing on the moon without landing legs. It sounds absurd at first. Why remove something so essential? Why challenge an unwritten rule that has held for six decades? Yet in SpaceX's eyes, the question was never about convention. It was about necessity and efficiency. In April 2021, SpaceX won NASA's Human Landing System contract under the Artemis program. Their proposal was bold, almost heretical, a version of Starship designed to touch down directly on its belly using the spacecraft's base as the landing surface itself. The concept broke every expectation of how a lunar lander should look. Instead of unfolding a set of legs to cushion the descent, SpaceX envisioned a massive 9-meter-wide steel hull reinforced by a titanium ring about 8 millimeters thick. Beneath it, a crushable skirt of 3D-printed aluminum mesh would act as a shock absorber deforming in a controlled way to soak up landing energy. In theory, this system could absorb up to 70% of the impact force. During the final 10 seconds before touchdown, the Raptor engines would throttle down to just 5-8% to of their power, slowing the Starship to a gentle descent speed of less than 1 meter per second. It would be a soft landing not on legs, but on a metallic hull strong enough to survive the Moon's hard embrace. To understand why SpaceX proposed such an unconventional design, we need to look at Elon Musk's core engineering philosophy, simplicity equals reliability. If a part doesn't exist, it can't fail. The company has followed this idea religiously from the minimalist Falcon 9 booster to the stainless steel Starship prototype. Every removed component reduces complexity risk and cost. Landing legs, by comparison, are an engineer's nightmare. They require folding mechanisms, hydraulic or pneumatic pistons, sensors, actuators, and control software. Each leg becomes a miniature system within a system. One more thing to go wrong in an environment where failure means losing billions. By removing them entirely, SpaceX believed they could eliminate thousands of potential failure points. In their legless Starship concept, roughly 8 to 10 tons of hardware, hinges, pistons, sensors, and titanium struts would vanish. That's not just a weight saving, it's a payload revolution. Every kilogram saved can be turned into science equipment supplies or extended mission time. In total, the legless version could carry around 7 extra tons to the moon, enough to extend astronaut stays by several days. But how do you land such a massive spacecraft directly on the moon's soft, powdery surface without sinking or tipping? SpaceX proposed a fascinating technique called plume surface interaction, aka PSI. About half a minute before landing, a ring of nozzles at the base of Starship would blast streams of hot gas at a 45 degree angle. The goal blow away loose dust and compact the ground below, creating a temporary landing pad about 20 to 30 centimeters thick. According to SpaceX's simulations, this compacted surface could withstand pressures of roughly 25 kilopascals, about the same as a car tire on Earth. It could even flatten slopes up to 10 degrees, making it stable enough for a landing without mechanical landing gear. If it worked, it would be one of the most elegant engineering tricks ever attempted on another world. As if legless landings weren't ambitious enough, SpaceX engineers explored an even more radical concept horizontal landing. In this design, Starship would still descend vertically slowing from lunar orbit with its main Raptor engines. 
But just before touchdown, a network of small reaction control thrusters would tilt the vehicle forward until it was almost horizontal around 30 degrees to the surface. It would then belly land, deploying a thick composite pad from its underside to absorb the impact. After touching down, four autonomous anchors would fire into the lunar soil to hold it in place. This approach offered surprising benefits. The horizontal position dramatically lowered the center of gravity, increasing stability and spreading the 50-ton spacecraft's weight over an area of 160 square meters, reducing pressure on the lunar soil by more than tenfold compared to a legged design. It also solved one of Starship's biggest design issues accessibility. Instead of astronauts descending a 30-meter elevator, they could walk down a short folding staircase just three meters long. Rovers could roll directly out through side doors. The vehicle's belly could even serve as an instant habitat, offering over 100 cubic meters of interior space, larger than the entire International Space Station's pressurized modules. And in that orientation, astronauts could easily pile lunar dust on top of the hull, creating a natural radiation shield. A horizontal starship was not just a lander, it could become the first lunar base. Anyway, if you loved this deep dive smash that like button, hit subscribe and ring the bell. We're aiming for 150,000 subscribers, and we need you to get there. But the further engineers explored these concepts, the more they collided with harsh realities. Starship's structure was optimized for vertical landing. Turning it sideways introduced enormous bending stresses along its 50-meter steel frame, forces it was never meant to bear. Fuel tanks posed another issue. In low gravity, liquid methane and oxygen could slosh unpredictably, creating pressure imbalances that might destabilize the spacecraft during landing or takeoff. And the biggest obstacle of all, once horizontal, how would it ever stand up again? A human-rated spacecraft must not only land, it must take off to return home. A horizontal starship couldn't do that without an elaborate system to lift its 1-200 ton mass upright again. For cargo missions, the idea remained intriguing. But for a crewed lander under NASA's Artemis III timeline, it was a step too far. By late 2022, NASA's Aerospace Safety Advisory Board reviewed SpaceX's legless proposal. Their conclusion was firm, elegant, or not. The concept was too risky. The problem wasn't theory, it was physics. Even with one-sixth Earth's gravity, the Moon's surface is unpredictable. Lunar soil, or regolith, varies wildly in density. Some spots are rock-hard. Others can swallow a probe's leg up to a meter deep. Those legs will spread out the lander's weight over multiple widely spaced points. If one leg sinks deeper into soft regolith, the other legs can adjust and balance the vehicle. Without legs, if one side sinks just a meter, a 50-meter tall starship could tilt over 25 degrees and topple in seconds which would be impossible to recover from risking the crew and mission. The legs often have shock absorbers and terrain compensation systems that allow them to extend or compress individually, adapting to uneven or sloped surfaces to keep the lander upright. This is similar to how a table with multiple legs stays steady on an uneven floor. Such designs keep Starship from tipping over after a successful soft landing, unlike the 2024 Odysseus lander, albeit taller. Additionally, the landing software and guidance system on Starship HLS are designed to autonomously find the safest and flattest possible landing spots on the Moon to minimize hazards. Extensive testing, including full-scale leg drop tests on simulated lunar soil, has been performed to validate leg strength and stability at realistic landing speeds and conditions. Also, there was another major concern, the engines themselves. Even throttled down Starship's six Raptor engines produce exhaust velocities exceeding 2,000 meters per second enough to dig a crater beneath the vehicle during descent. 
In simulations, this effect could carve a hole one or two meters deep, undermining the compacted pad the spacecraft had just created with its hot gas jets. And then came the dust. Lunar regolith is electrostatically charged, sharp and clingy. Once disturbed, it doesn't settle, it floats. Clouds of it could coat sensors, damage seals, and infiltrate life support systems. For astronauts working nearby, the dust could be hazardous to lungs and eyes alike. NASA's assessment was clear. A human lander must minimize plume effects, not intensify them. According to NASA's human rating certification, any crewed spacecraft must have at least two levels of fault tolerance. In SpaceX's legless design, a single engine failure during the final descent could unbalance thrust and lead to a catastrophic crash. There was no redundancy, no backup structure to absorb a misfire or offset a tilt. No matter how much weight it saved, the design couldn't meet NASA's stringent safety requirements. By early 2023, SpaceX quietly shifted to option B, a redesigned version of Starship HLS with six retractable titanium landing legs. These new legs would feature self-adjusting pistons and honeycomb dampers capable of compensating for terrain slopes up to 15 degrees. They would add complexity and weight, but also stability and trust. In the end, that trade-off became the defining choice between vision and reliability. So what's your take? Either a legless lander or a legged lander, which one would you prefer? Let me know in the comment section below. Landing Starship without legs was one of the most daring engineering concepts of our time. A glimpse of a future where simplicity reigns over tradition. But the moon is not a place that forgives boldness easily. SpaceX's legless proposal reminded the world that even the most elegant ideas must face the brutal test of reality. In space exploration, physics always has the final word. The updated legged starship may look less futuristic, but it stands as a product of experience, a compromise between innovation and survival. And as SpaceX continues to test and refine the design for Artemis, 3-1 lesson echoes through every design review in the conquest of space, proven stability must always outweigh theoretical perfection. Yet this story is far from over. As we look beyond Artemis to the dream of permanent lunar bases and Mars colonization, SpaceX's legless and horizontal landing ideas may return. Someday when we no longer need to launch back home, when we start building on the moon instead of just visiting it, such radical concepts might find their time. Because in the history of spaceflight, no idea ever truly dies. It simply waits for the right moment to land.